Hi, my name is Lena Spencer, and my science fair project was the impact of ocular size on the average human emotional psyche. Or, when an animal has big eyes doesn't make us think it's cuter. Okay, my idea for the science fair was, uh, I got an email forward featuring a bunch of sad animals, and one of the pictures um, in the forward was a cat who was in a shower with his paws up against the glass door looking incredibly sad. And one thing I noticed was that his eyes were abnormally large, thus making me go, aww, a lot more. Picture is noted here. Now what I did is I took a line drawing of a puppy, as you can see, it's the same line drawing for all three drawings. However, I erased his eyes and in each instance made his eyes slightly larger. Then I presented the three drawings to a total of 56 subjects and asked them to pick which dog they found the cutest. Not trying to find any differences in the pictures, but simply going with their gut. Now, my hypothesis was that an animal will be seen as cuter up to a point. However, if the eyes get too big, my cat just jumped on the bed where the tripod was. If the eyes got too big, then the cat would no longer be or the animal would no longer be seen as cute, but simply bizarre. Okay, my hypothesis was that puppy number two with the medium yet still large eyes would be seen as the cutest, and in fact, my hypothesis was proven correct. A total of 62% of the people polled found dog number two as being the cutest. When we got to dog number three with the giant eyes, they just thought it was weird. Only 27% uh, found that dog to be cute, and the first dog with the smallest eyes was only picked as the cutest 11% of the time. In closing, I would like to give you one more real life example. What can get more real life than animated movies? In Shrek 2, there was a character called Puss in Boots who was portrayed by Antonio Banderas. His eyes are normal sized throughout the movie, except for when he's trying to be especially adorable, and then his eyes get incredibly large, thus proving my point that the ocular size of a being directly impacts our emotional response to it.